Right guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am going to show you how to paint up a Prima Primaris uh, Death Watch Marine. Now obviously this can be applied to a regular Death Watch Marine, uh, a Terminator, uh, even your Dreadnoughts. So uh, I've sprayed this guy black, this is a Primaris Hellblaster. Uh, I've swapped the shoulder pad out for the uh, Death Watch one. Uh, and he looks a little bit glossy, the, the uh, spray paint has dried slightly shiny but my photography lamps are actually making it look a lot more glossy than what it is. It's not gloss black, believe it or not, it is actually matte black. So, the first colour that we're going to do is Eschen Grey. And what we're going to do with Eschen Grey is we're basically going to highlight all of the edges of the armour plates and everything around each of the uh, armor plates. So I'm using a medium layer brush here. You might want to use a small layer brush, but what I'm doing is basically painting along the edges of all of the armor plates. So with that bit just going over the tips of the uh, Four pads and around the edge the knee pad over the top there and um, what we're also going to do is with other areas for example if we go to the back of the leg uh, you can see there is some recesses in there we're also actually going to go like around them recesses um, and working into that so like that and we're going to continue around the whole model now bearing in mind that you don't actually need to do this arm um, because this whole arm is going to be getting painted silver so we'll come back in a few moments when I've finished all of that Right, so once we've done all the army, you can see there that I've done right around the sides, on the shoulder pauldrons, over the tops of the shoulder pad, and of course around the helmet there as well. What we're going to do is basically do a smaller highlight using a small layer brush, and we're going to use Dawnstone uh, for this. So, you only want a little bit of paint. And what we're, we're going to do is basically trace these lines but not actually cover all of what we've done. So on the foot there, just about half of what we've covered otherwise. And obviously on the corners, and just over the top of knee pads and then this piece here for example we'll just do the bottom corner rather than the whole lot and the same on the back here so just that little bit okay, and just the small points around the edges so with this one We've obviously done the um, Eschen Grey right around the edge here, so I will just tiny bit on the tips there, and of course the bottom of the armour plates down here. So it's just picking out the cornered areas, try and accent which bits. You want to do so. I'm going to do the rest of this leg as well, and uh, we'll come back in a second. Okay, so now that that is done, we're then going to start with the silver. I'm using a lead belcher, and I'm basically going to cover the whole arm on this side. And then we'll start working on the guns as well, and other places we can add 
the silver on too because there's quite a few but I like Death Watch Marines because they don't really take that long um, to paint up they're actually quite quick uh, in comparison to Blood Angels especially uh, I find anyway so of course I'm going to paint all the way down the arm as well with this one being a plasma I am doing quite a bit of the uh, plasma itself silver so the whole front half of the gun is going to be silver this whole bottom half here is going to be silver The energy coil in the middle here will be silver. And then a few other bits and pieces that we're going to do as well. So, the vents on the side of the mask. handle for the bow pistol the uh, reactor part of the backpack and the exhausts And then what I'm going to do is just drag my brush lightly over the back vents, almost kind of dry brushing them. And then of course I'm going to finish the arm off. Okay, so now we've done the silvers, we're now going to also paint some of the pouches brown. So you can see here the ball pistol holster and the little grenade pouch uh, and we're actually going to paint these up with uh, Rhinox Hide and it just it's a nice and dark shade of brown which highlights up really really nicely uh, with Mornfang which we'll be doing in a second so as noted as well actually is that I did paint the vents here silver a lot of people would just dry brush them but I like doing them silver just to try and break up um, the, the black armour a little bit tiny bit of brown on there There we go, um, and it's as easy as that. Next up though, we're gonna use uh, corn red uh, for the gun. Now obviously, with this being a plasma, uh, there is slightly less red on it than a bolt gun, um, but nevertheless, I'll still be able to show you exactly what we're going for. So, with corn red, I'm gonna be painting all of this piece of the gun. No, it doesn't matter if you get any on where the plasma is going because we're going to be painting the plasma a uh, different colour in a little while. Now obviously with, with the plasma you can go any colour you want but I, I don't know, I found that purple works quite well for me uh, and I like the way the purple pops against the black. Um, but you could literally go any colour, you could probably go away with a nice yellow, uh, a really bright green. Um, I actually do my power weapon screen, although this guy doesn't have a power weapon. Um, if you stay, keep watching till the end of the video, uh, I'll also tack on the end uh, how I paint the power weapons for my Death Watch Marines. All 
Okay, so there we go. The red is also done as well. Now, next up, we're going to be using Null Oil Wash. Uh, we're going to cover all the silver, the brown and the red uh, just to dull the whole lot down. Uh, especially the red because I, I like really dark grimy red but we will be highlighting the back up with uh, with corn red in a little while so don't worry if it looks a little bit dark but we're also going to put uh, the null oil all over all of the silvers of course we are going to put it right up the uh, just a second I mean null oil keeps closing all over the shoulder pad, right in the arms and everything. There we go, I'm even going to put the null oil on the brow and of course on the rest of all of the silver as well. Okay, so there we go. Once that is done, we're then going to dry brush all the silver with Necron Compound. And I'm going to use a small base brush to do this. And it's literally just so we can highlight up all of the silver and just make it that little bit brighter. Necron Compound is a great dry paint uh, and it makes, you know, highlighting silver is very, very easy. And it makes them look really cool as well. So we're just dry brushing a little bit there of course over the silver now what I'm going to do is I didn't do it earlier but I'm now going to dry brush this black here just so that essentially you get two different grains of silver almost so obviously you get the the brighter one which is the sil uh, Necron compound on top of lead belcher and then you get the Necron compound just on top of black So I'm just going to grab a little bit more uh, and we're also going to highlight all the other bits of silver uh, that we've got as well. So, I'm just building the layers up very slowly. You can see there as you go over it's just brightening it up that little bit more. And there's Facebook. There we go. So next we're going to highlight up the red and we're going to use corn red. So we're then going to dry brush the corn red just over the top of the red again. Uh, now it doesn't bring it up too bright because the corn red is still very dark But it just it, it takes away from as much oily feel uh, as what you get with the uh, Null oil being on there and just brightens it up that little bit more and um, but we will come back in and actually highlight it up further uh, with Mephiston red So I've actually missed a little bit there There we go, and then we'll highlight it up with Mephiston Red. Now you can do this one or two ways, you can either dry brush it like what I've just done, or you could literally just paint the lines straight onto it. So, with Mephiston Red, I'm going to just paint the lines along each of the crevices here, much like we did the armour with the grey and the black. And 
This is actually a little bit hard to see on the camera for some reason. Flip it over and do the other side as well. And of course, this is the same method that you would use if you're using uh, the bolt guns as well. Okay, so next to highlight up is going to be the browns on the shoulder, not the shoulder pads, the uh, pouches. So using your small layer brush, and just drag it along the corners. of the pouches like that okay so next up we're going to apply some zandri dust uh, to the skull on the insignia on the side and i only actually apply it to the skull itself and the four bones coming off it now at this point as well when i'm using the zandri dust uh, I would also double check the model, see if I've got any uh, patchwork, scroll work or um, purity seals. Uh, and I would also do the purity seal, uh, the kind of parchment part of it, uh, in Zandri dust as well. As it stands though, this guy doesn't have any. Don't know why the Primaris don't have them, but uh, yeah, you'd normally find them for example down here on, on the bottom corner or, or on the wrist here. Um, but this guy's only got that one piece. Uh, sometimes you might have a skull on the helmet uh, or some parchment on the front of the bolt here as well. Okay, next up I'm going to use Zeros Purple uh, and this is going to be for the eyes. I also paint the wax part of any purity seals um, Zeros Purple as well and I'm going to be doing my plasma in Zeros Purple. So, strangely enough to paint the eyes, it's actually easier to flip the model upside down so that you can get right in to the gap there. I don't know what it is about this, flipping them upside down, but it, it genuinely is a lot easier. So again, if I had the parchment purity seal here, I would paint the wax circle this color as well. And in this instance, I'm also going to paint the plasma. I'm not going to worry about highlighting or, or washing the plasma, uh, and you'll see why in a few moments. I just want to get that uh, that base coat down and cover all parts of it. There we go, uh, and then the last part of the eyes, uh, I'm actually going to use uh, Gene Stealer Purple, which is quite a lot brighter, um, and just touch up about half of the eye. Obviously, we painted most of the eye uh, with Zeros Purple. I'm literally just going to put a small dab of Gene Stealer Purple uh, in the very corner. So I'm using again my small layer brush. Uh, your detail brush might actually be better to do this. It's just I've got this one to hand. And there we go. And believe it or not, right, this guy actually isn't far from being finished. Because Death Watch are remarkably quick and easy to paint. Um, I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade on the uh, skull on the side uh, just to darken it down, uh, ready to highlight it up. And I'm going to be using uh, Ushabti Bone to highlight the bone up. So if we get the Agrax Earthshade, and it's literally only a tiny bit that I need.
just to paint over the pauldron. There we go, so we'll let that dry and we'll come back with the Shabti bone. Uh, you may have noticed as well that I haven't done anything with this shoulder pad. This is your standard marine shoulder pad, so you could do it any way that you want. You can paint it a flat colour and put a transfer on. Um, if you've seen the tutorial for how I put this shoulder pad on, you can actually do exactly the same with this side if you've got moulded ones as well. Um, another thing that we can do is we can actually add heat bloom to the end uh, of the the plasma gun uh, which we might do in a few moments but something I did forget to do is use the uh, Zeros purple just to fill in them small little gaps of plasma coils there and there we go so if you want to see the tutorial uh, on how to basically put the scorch effect on the end of guns. There's two available. There is one using washes to achieve that effect uh, and there's another one using the airbrush to get that effect. Uh, so go and check that out. So here we go. We've just now got the Oshabti bone to highlight on the edge of the pauldron uh, and it's a case of just very lightly dry brushing the Oshabti bone over the top of the skull and it naturally just kind of highlights it again just using that technique where you just drag the brush ever so slightly over the top of the raised surface and it's that easy you notice as well I've also uh, I've done the wash method sorry it's a bit out of focus I've, I've applied washes to the end here I do need to add a little bit more purple uh, and then another blue but basically it's just building up layers but we're almost done I'm now going to get the airbrush ready uh, and we're going to actually do the plasma glow okay guys here we go so I'm using alien purple by Vallejo uh, in the airbrush and I'm basically going to very very lightly um, airbrush some purple over the top of the plasma glow and of course on the plasma coils there as well we're going to try and have a little bit of glow overflowing onto the arm just so there's that little bit of purple uh, on the arm as well so forgive me if i'm slightly off shot i'm trying to do this Oop, around the camera and i'm going to blow just a little bit into the red just to try and uh, blend it out look like the light is going over you'll see there as well a little bit of the purple has gone over onto the uh, the silver as well And there you go, you can see a tiny bit has gone on the uh, the shoulder, the shin pad there. Uh, it looks like it's a lot more on the camera um, because of the light uh, than what it actually is, but you've got a little bit there on the, um, on the arm as well. And then what I'm going to do is just lighten it down even more by adding a little bit of Vallejo white in with the mix so that we've got a slightly lighter purple. Uh, in addition to obviously what it already looks like there so we'll just give that a bit of a mix in the airbrush just so that it is considerably lighter now what we're going to do is just spray it in in the middle of
Okay, so there we go, he's now finished off. And you can see that the white that I added has highlighted the plasma right in the middle. We've got the glow going over his arm a tiny bit on the front of his uh, knee pad there as well. And of course, just coming down the front of the gun. Uh, and we've got the heat bloom on the edges as well. Now, I haven't painted this shoulder pad for a reason. I want you guys to tell me what chapter you want this Marine from. So whichever one gets the most upvotes, so if, someone's, if someone comments Blood Angels, if you want to be a Blood Angel, thumb them up and uh, it'll become a Blood Angel. Um, basically, uh, if someone's already commented, thumb it up. If no one's commented, leave a comment. Uh, and what we'll do is, one week from the release of the Death Watch Codex, I will repaint this guy's shoulder pad uh, to the chapter that he has chosen from. Um, so yeah, that is the base that I've done from the basin tutorial, and of course that is the uh, Hell Blaster um, that we've done as well. And uh, that is my third Hell Blaster for the Death Watch Army, uh, and you can expect to see the other two coming out very, very soon, uh, and hopefully getting into some Primaris kill teams. But if you're interested in doing a little bit more, uh, I'm now going to show you how I do my power weapons. So here we go guys with the power weapons. This is a Reaver and of course I've chopped the normal knife off and I've used one of the Death Watch swords from the upgrade sprue. Uh, and what I'm going to do first is um, I've painted it uh, Warpstone Glow. So it's had two coats so it's nice and thin and flat. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use Vallejo Oscopina Green uh, and we're going to spray this uh, up the side of the power sword to about, you know, a nice solid coat or halfway and then blend it out after that. So... There you go, you can see it blending quite nice. And the reason I've put the uh, kitchen roll between the model and that is because so, I don't want uh, any overspray on the armor. Not unlike the plasma glow that you've just seen. So there we go, that's now dry, and now we're going to use Light Livery Green by Vallejo, and we're just going to do the top quarter. You have to be very careful with this, this paint is actually very, very watery compared to the others. And there we go, what you can do is once that's all dry, you could wash it with Weightwatcher Green if you want it to pop and be a little bit glossy. But, I like that. And of course I'm now going to finish off the rest of the Marine. And you can see a squad of five Reavers coming to the channel very, very soon of course as well. So thanks very much for watching guys, really appreciate the support. Please check out the rest of the Death Watch videos that are on the channel this week. And uh, we hope to see you again very soon.